better. So the idea with unify is that like, uh, what does it mean to unify humanity essentially? What is the next social network? You know, I think even me was like, yeah, it's a better network. It's collective media, it's video, but he's like, nah, man, it's a place for human evolution, right? It's like the next social network is where we come together to evolve and grow, truly. And I'm like, that's a good thesis. It's actually fucking correct, right? He's like, I want to come to a place where people have their like hologenetic profiles and gene keys profiles and astrology. And like, you know, when they come on, they see each other's and they see the karmic relationships to each other, you know? And I'm like, I want a place where people can earn money. I want to people please so people can have right livelihood with each other and based on their profiles form actual networks of of trust with each other that they can actually work together. So I laid in the whole nexus thing. I'm like, we need to build fucking nexus as an operating system. And then Yannick Silver's, you know, ClickBank for consciousness and the circles operating system. And then, you know, where blockchain really does come in and where inflow matrix really comes in and how we actually need a sense making platform for the world to organize our mind. And like, this is the next social network. It's not just Veeam or inflow matrix or all of the pieces. It's, it's unifying them together in something that feels fucking coherent in a way for the world to operate. What's the next operating system, right? Um, and I'm like, we feel like we've all been building pieces of it, seeing pieces of it, and we haven't unified yet, really. And because of that, we're all like, man, I don't wanna just play on my own team and just build Veeam and build a remote work thing. And you're like, yeah, I got an inflow matrix, but you know, like, it really needs to fit within a larger operating system. And even at Dill, I was like, yeah, I got unify, but like, you know, I don't really have the vision and the scope of everything that all of you have been building. I'm like, of course, because we're meant to be a Jedi superhero team that comes together to build the thing, really. And I think it's come to a place where like, I don't want to just build Ayana and Beam and separate and then work on Inflow and then work on Unify. Like they're all the, I don't want to fucking do it anymore, right? I want to build one thing that everything goes under and I'll put 50% of Beam in there. I don't give a shit. I'll put Ayana in there. I'll put equity from everything into the thing so we can actually build the thing. What is that thing going to be? I don't care if it's called Unify. You want to call it Unify? Great. You want to call it Unanimous? Awesome. You want to call it Nexus? Great. Let's just do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so I think I've come to that place in myself. And he has a vision of the subdomain. So he's like, what happens when we do health.unify.org, water.unify.org, oldgrowthforest.unify.org? What happens when we use a subdomain strategy and have an infrastructure and architecture to actually unite all the factions together inside of some sort of coherent system? And so we've been exploring Hatch. So you got to check this out, h360.ai, right? This guy, Yarrow Craner, one of the most brilliant solutions architects on our planet. He has an organization and an incubator for change called Hatch. And he's built something called h360.ai. And he basically took LinkedIn and a social network and actually created it in a way that allows for businesses to come, your employees to create profile, and you guys to create multi-company goals with each other. Basically, it's the OS for Nexus. He basically created it on a social level. And he fucking put a, call a couple of million into it and he's in beta and I think it's a tool that we should use. And he's gonna, he can white label it with it for us. We can have open API layers and we can build on top of it. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see some of these pieces that are gonna start to come together to build this fucking thesis of this kind of larger vision of Unify. Um, and you know, I think me and Adil had to get to a place where like Unify is not the nonprofit. Unify is not just global meditations. Like we gotta create a vision that's worthy of this Dharma. Right. And like, yeah, the work that's been done till now is great. But like, you know, we're a Facebook page or an email list. Like, let's get real. Like, what have, what have we really built in terms of architecture? Nothing. Not yet. You know, so if we're going to use it and we're going to build the brand, then, you know, let's get really clear on what the hell we're doing here. Um, so that's some of the conversations that are happening right now. So what's the H36? Could you slow down on that one? And what was it? Yeah. So H360.ai. Take a look at it. And basically what it is, is that it's a platform basically for multi-organizations to come together and have their own kind of internal LinkedIn profile community management, but actually create shared goals around the SDGs. And those shared goals allow multiple organizations to unite their personnel, talent, and resources to solve shared issues. Um, so he's built a beta of it. It looks really good. Nice. Hey, did you... Take a look at that Civil X, mm -hmm. the game promo. Um, I, I've met with their guy, main guy twice, Jordan. Oh yeah? And we had a nice connection and he seems again, the same you know, meta conversations about what has to happen. Yeah. And, he, and he's very also linked into permaculture and sort of like the ecosystem, eco village type uh, living arrangement. Yeah. And, you know, they put together Gene Keys, Human Design, My Calendar, Barbara Marks Hubbard's Eight Wheels of Co-Creation, which is basically, you know, the Harmony Wheel. Minus. Yeah. So I met with him twice and I, Lassiel, I had another meeting with. 
Nice. They're important somehow. They are important. I think. I think I think they're the main testing ground. Like what what I'm seeing is like we've got two social architects, a gene mm -hmm. keys expert, and two very seasoned facilitators who one's a general and one and he's got a partner who's a facilitator, goes into corporations. So they got all that corporate experience. And then we've got the kind of like abstract modeling experience and then the actual example of LCL with 13 teams, each of them, you know, have been working for a couple of years or they've had a symposium. I, I didn't quite know the depth of how they'd come together, but it wasn't as much as I thought. Mm -hmm. But they're, they have a steering team, and that stewardship team wants to take them now through a process of nine months, and I'm mapping out the time structure for it, and I'll send it to you. Okay. And basically, it's 13 teams of like 12 people. Like They basically have a shared knowledge community. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm not... I don't think they want to build a shared knowledge community. Like that's my, my first time of getting, okay, well these guys, they want something to emerge. They want us to facilitate the different processes, but they're not quite, you know, there isn't, I'm not coming in quite with, okay, here it is. That's where you're going because I'm with five people and I'm not sensing that that's where they want to go. Mm -hmm. But seeing how, okay, a group of facilitators or outside consultants, uh, you know, a community of people and then a stewardship team. Because that's what happened in the Wisdom Council, where if you want to take a process, a larger community to go through a process, right? You need some group of elders or people that are really helping things along, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what they've got. They've got like a very dedicated team of nine people and they've already got their 12 elders. And so now they've got these 13 teams. And so the, uh, ability for us to perhaps take Veeam, let's say we just take Veeam at a starting point and use them as a test group over a long period of time to see what it's like to share stories and, and, and come together with something that has a really higher aim. And with that, through that methodology, I think that Veeam could really, um, again, get that testing instant yeah. feedback. Yeah, I'm just actually messaging Piyush for being. Okay. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to get Caravan back up and Veeam back up. Okay. Uh, um, there's been some issues with the iOS build. It's created and Android needs to be made live in order to debug the issue. The Android dev was allocated today. Um, share more updates by this one. Okay. I just want to get it back up so we have the tool to play with so we can actually get back into the trenches and work with it, right? For sure. Um, I also think that memes, video memes are just going to blow up anyway. It's like, it's just, it's going to be one of the stupid things we do that'll probably sell for a billion dollars and fund the rest of the shit we do. <laughs> you know, and we'll laugh our way to the bank with cat memes <laughs> while the world is burning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I just see a hidden timeline there. That's like what you said, that tape heads metaphor. Like, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> After all that work, it's this thing that worked. Exactly. <laughs> the divine comedy of. The uh, divine comedy is fully at play. You better trust in us or else. Exactly. Um, so. I miss you though, man. What's I that? Miss, I miss being in person with you. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I it was a big. Like it, the, the, what <laughs> I think I tried to convey it, but I, I didn't convey it in what I was writing, but, but not coming over that Sunday was a very big thing for me. Yeah. It was a big thing for me too. And you know, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, you're going to kill me because <laughs> I was thinking, okay, well in the social context or the family context, I'm not going out to see people anymore. Right. And it was, it, it was very strong in these other areas. But then as the week went along and I was feeling, you know, I, I really felt shitty. <laughs> I, 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 I felt like I missed a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. And I missed it because of, uh, an, an, of an assessment that was inaccurate. As I went along, I finally went, it was inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Because you and I are never not in a business field. <laughs> exactly. You know, <laughs> like, when have we ever even gone together for one time in our whole lives that we've not been in a business field? I know. So it's this, it's this kind of false dichotomy of field separation between people like us. It's, it's, it's just incredible how these words utilize our ruling system or our, our, our whole priority analysis, right? And 
sometimes for the better and a lot of times for the worse, right? Like we're yeah, yeah, you were really missed on that day. Like I missed you a lot. I was like, oh, I had like a little hole in my heart. I'm like, uh, I, 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 didn't even know you, I didn't even know you weren't coming. So I'm like, yeah, Elijah's coming. Yeah, like eight o'clock. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> even though we're, no, and I know it's. Uh, yeah, and you're just like, you know, you're, you're like, I see you as my family, right? And so does my family. You're our family, right? Like, um, love you a lot. And yeah, the business field for sure. And the family field is strong and important. And I don't think should be, um, maybe the social field can be like, you know, <laughs> I do that a lot too. I don't have a lot of social field except for me being on the farm, consequently seeing people Yeah, I don't have space for a lot of social field. I don't go meet people socially. I don't think, I don't remember the last time anyone did, did that, to be honest, but yeah. it's not a thing for me. Um, but that even makes it more important that where I'm living has a strong social field. Yeah. So that I don't feel fucking isolated because when I go straight into business field and there's no social field surrounding me, I get depressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I get very depressed. <laughs> oh, man. Human beings, man, we're social creatures. We're not meant to be fucking islands into ourselves. In business context is great, but without the social and intimate, it's fucking like feels like what's the point? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I mean, I guess you know how I was explaining to myself was kind of like the whenever I jump into the inflow work, you know, it's it's like it's it's more of a a madness than anything and, mm -hmm. and and it's it's like i come to that point of going just like fuck just fucking finish it just fucking stop fuck whatever the fuck you're doing get it fucking done you know like, yeah, i hear that like, I hear are that. you fucking kidding me you're still in research <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> you know and and, and oh, so no. so i started pumping up these maps right and the, the night that that I was, you know, not coming over. I actually did all the eight maps, you know, in in the swastikas, and then I pumped out the twenty language telescopes. And then I pumped out the four worldviews. So I, I was doing big maps of the simple things that have to get done that I haven't done that are just like if I'm going to teach the inflow, fuck, get the fucking pieces, the simplest, not the most complex end game fucking exactly. maps. Start with like one and one and two. God. <laughs> My God, God, you spoke to him. My God, thank you. <laughs> so if you saw my Facebook today or yesterday, there's just blank, black and white, two words, right? Like just, you know, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like like the past, core binary is. Past, all the distinctions, right? In the beginning of going, okay, if we're starting. to call those maps. What's that? Yeah, they're not maps. But, um. Oh, can I show you something? Sure. Share screen. Um, there's a, have you heard of Thwart Space? No. Check this out. Um, look at these little, it's a sphere builder. Are you watching this? So each each of these are like data spheres. I haven't I I I, I just started playing with it a little bit, but like a you three D version of fluid. Yeah, and you can uh, categories. Anyway, I just, I, I dived in for just like 20 minutes and went, holy fuck, I could spend about a weekend here and lose myself in terms of um, taking every project and building a sphere that you just connect together. Yeah, but you got to be really careful whether it's going to be worth your time to build on. Because as soon as you build onto a platform and you put a lot of your knowledge into it and it doesn't integrate with other things and it doesn't have I like... Know post-development capacity you waste a lot of time you know and that's where i'm worried like i want you to think if you're going to build on something make sure like it's fucking like the miro as an example they're going places you know they're fucking they're go they're going to continue to grow develop build and like 
you could actually work with a team like that to develop your own API layers into it. Like you could develop a Miro, Miro app inside of Miro that's Inflow, right? And that could be super useful and valuable because they're scaling. Like, uh, so I know you like to work with edge tools and I respect that because you're always liking looking at the cutting edge, but just be aware of how much you invest into it. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to a certain point and then it was very limiting within this, the little sphere of what you could do. And just that alone is like, you could write a sentence and then, and tap in a URL, but that was about it. You can color, like it was, it was the beginning of seeing again, like really nice 3D graphics in some way, but very limited with like the, the database integration, as you're saying, mm -hmm. and would it connect in with all the other pieces. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm thinking, anyway, I, I, I did set it aside and kept working on my own stuff. I have the, remember these two maps, right? The, the week map, oh, you can't see that. Anyway, the week map and the year map, right? The missing piece is the, is the, you know, the hour map and the year map, and the missing piece is the week map. And so that's, that's what I've got now. And I'm going to make a 52 week calendar with the Mayan thing with it. So you, ha you have the Mayan calendar, the day, and the seven set pulse. And then each three hour spot is either going to be a personal space, one on one space, group space, community space, and sacred space. So you can program your three hour spots. Mm -hmm. And so when you're designing your ideal job, and that might be maybe the, the next thing if you want to do with me, because I've got to create. I need to do that, man, because it, you know, fuck, I noticed my time usage is not organized well in terms of the meta blocks. Yeah. You know, I don't, and I'm, I want to experiment with some of that. I want to be like, no, 7 to 10 a.m. is a sacred space. 10 to 12.30 is a, like a fucking workspace, you know, like, um, like, you know, maybe t group or one-on-one, -on -one, like workspace, you know, in Zoom calls, like one to four is heads down fucking work, no calls, you know, like four to six one-on-one -on -one yeah. catch-up calls and then evening, like, fuck yeah. off. Yeah. So maybe, maybe as a birthday gift, I, this is what I was thinking and try to do some makeup for you. Um, maybe tomorrow we could do a session and I could use the new mapping system and take you through designing your ideal job for that 28 day cycle. Sure. Let's try it. And, uh, I, th I think I've got, like, I've got it. I've got it. I know I've got it. Awesome, I'd like to, love to check it out. Because the way I think, I'm looking at all of this and how it becomes an app, right? Like, so I, it's good for me to run through it. Yeah, yeah. So what time tomorrow? Let me look at my calendar. I can do any time after 2.30, maybe like 2.30 to 3.30? 2.30 to 3.30, okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Right. You'll, you'll be the first person through for designing your ideal job. Sweet. And then part of your ideal job is going to be marking my ideal job course, right? <laughs> of course. I mean, I've already committed to doing that. So. Yeah. Cause I think, I think for you too, like for, I think our ideal job is going to be connected with one another, right? Cause we're just, you know, cause part like, I think we have high meta jobs of maybe I'm doing the jobs and maybe you're doing the campaigns, right? Maybe your thing is designing mm -hmm. campaigns and um, using the inflow matrix and all the tools to do so. And then each of us is building a, you know, I think each person is sort of building a piece of the meta system that we're building. And uh, I think our connection is, is really important in figuring out what that is. Hell yeah, it is. There's no way we're doing this without each other. I mean, if we were, if anything was meant to break us apart and actually creating, it would have, and there's just, you know, like the universe is like, it's like me and Adele, right? Like, even like 5X, like, you know, fucking, I was like, I swore to myself I would never work with that dude, you know? <laughs> and, you know, come back together and I'm like, fuck, I love this brother so much and we can't do it without each other. You just see certain people that without them, it doesn't happen. Like, yeah. the thing doesn't birth. Like, you better get over your shit because there's a constellation that's way bigger than you. <laughs> yeah. And we're all, we all know each other. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been through this before, but I don't think quite like now. Like, I think this is probably the first time that most of us are still alive, you know. I, think I know, like, right? <laughs> we would have been sliced and diced at some point. Totally. That's why we're all in Canada. Thank God we're here. Yeah. The reason, like, all of us meet you, like, a lot of us that are actually Canadian that are actually popping through the next level, <laughs> you know? Like, For sure. 
There's a little uh, bit of safety here from insanity. A little bit of safety and sanity here. Thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow from 2.30 to 3.30, and I just want to let you know that today is, is very special. I did a, this is the sixth video I've done today, and I'm doing my first seven-step pulse of the day. Mm -hmm. and this is at Connect and Unify. Oh, cool. So I've done, and the other ones, there's one other interview with Laura, who's the one, woman in York, Yorkton who's been using the inflow. And she's bursting and she's she's about to she's got the learning center in Yorkton and she's she's getting ready to get her, her programs out. And I think she'll also be part of the infrastructure or part of the design your ideal job from a money point of view. Mm -hmm. She's been working with the Enneagram and the profile types and she's she's really focused on money and awesome. I haven't so I think we'll bring her in and start to again, you know, to design your ideal job, we're gonna take pieces and, and from from everyone we know probably right at some point mm -hmm. like bring together the genius of everybody to help everyone get ahead yeah i think the design your ideal job is a necessary module for nexus right because if you're going to design this multi-company employee infrastructure you know you got to design how you want to work not just what you want to work on right i was thinking just that for the shared knowledge community that the design your ideal job <laughs> sorry we've already covered this that nexus comes first my friend <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, great to see you. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to, all my attention will be focused on that to make it as good as possible. Thanks, man. Love you, bro. All right. All right. Love you soon. See you. I may uh, actually, I may come to Vancouver on the weekend. So okay. um, I'll let you know if, I'm, if I come. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. All right. All right.